Hey guys, welcome to Ash Echoes, the CBT for Global, and I'm going to be taking you through a small tour of the game, how it's going to be played, what to expect, and um, just to give you guys a background, I've been playing the Taiwanese version since, since it launched um, uh, late July this year, and um, it's more or less going to be going into this direction wow. as well. Okay, so starting off with our characters or our Echomancer. So there are going to be a couple of classes for your Echomancers. We will start with your Strikers. So your Strikers are going to specialize in elite enemies and enemies that have a block gauge. The block gauge is going to refer to your Bulwark. So speaking of bulwark, we do have one bulwark here. So um, bulwarks are going to be your defensive characters. Your your strikers are going to be your offensive um, characters or echomancers. So they are in the complete opposite um, range of the spectrum. Uh, this guy here, Yuki, is going to have a block gauge, which makes them very very hard to kill. But in these in the middle part of all of these um, classes is going to be your vanguard so your vanguard here i have laurel here as a vanguard so vanguards are going to be either they can switch between defense and offense that is how good they are as well so there are skills that you can shift them to defense and shift them to offense so it's going to be applicable for all Vanguard. So those are your melee positions, all three. Next up are going to be your range positions, starting off with your, um, not support, starting off with your skirmisher. So skirmishers are going to be, um, they're going to prioritize the air units and performs a combo and ignores, they, they tend to ignore cooldown for some of their skills. So they're very, very nice. Um, they have a good damage output, but but if you're going to have another counterpart of hers, um, the Ranger is also one of your you know, range units. She, Lydia, has a more further range though, okay? And more sustained attack in combat. So with that said, um, we're gonna be going to our support units. So for our support, we do have the first one is going to be, I'm trying to find one. Yeah, here. Support is uh, going to be a healer and a buffer. So supports are combined. Sometimes they do healing, sometimes they do both healing and buffs, but overall, the, 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 their characters are built on helping your other Echomancers in the field. And the last type or class is going to be your Tactician. So Sambeka here is a Tactician. So specializes in knockback elemental zones. So elemental zones are kind of complex to explain right now. But I'm going to be give you a heads up. You can create elemental zones like water, can create fire elemental zones um, because these are going to play in your in, in, in the battlefield when when you do deploy them or when you are in battle okay so those are your I think we have seven classes so you have your bulwark your vanguard your striker your skirmisher your ranger your support and your tactician okay so um, with that said, let's go on to the game modes that we will be enjoying in the next few weeks or months. So we have here, below is going to be your farming stages for resources. You have a couple. This one is the memory nexus. This one, once you unlock a nexus, it unlocks additional stages. We'll go to the nexus later. Um, we also have this Sky Rift Observation. This one is going to be more of a ladder progression going up. So we, I am now here at level 1. I haven't played this much, much of this. But in the Taiwanese version, I have actually gone up in Sky Rift Observation. And definitely 
the higher you go, the more rewards you get, but it's going to be more difficult. Then you have joint training, which in, in which you assign teams. You, you battle here in these here where it says not completed battle there assign an echomancer in each of the slots you have 12 slots here then you once you assign you know echomancers in the slots you can actually attack the boss because those echomancers are going to contribute to additional buff stats so this is how it's going to be played Okay, so those are roughly the game modes that we are playing. I'm sure they're going to be adding to this. I haven't even unlocked this yet. Now, we're proceeding to the Nexus. Okay. By the way, guys, let me go back first to your characters. Your characters are upgraded here. These, this is the rank. This is going to be up to S6. And leadership qualities, L, L, L0 is going to be... Um, relating to their leadership skills that they add to the team and also seed okay seed is where you get copies of them you get um, enhancements and stats and you get to unlock new traits when once you unlock a certain level in the seed and also combat skills are also unlocked here okay so with that said the nexus guys is going to be your main let me say this be, it's gonna be your main way of leveling up warrior characters because once you enter a specific nexus you'll be allowed to choose a leader so your leader gives the whole team buffs buffs in which um stat buffs you have skill buffs it's gonna be part of the leader's obligation to basically give buffs and skills and stats to all of the team members so this is where your bread and butter is gonna be let's say we select Ivana here so once you select Ivana this is her additional stats that she could give to the team as you progress to the Nexus you can actually gain more stats to add to this but once you are here you can specialize in memory traces so memory traces this one adds to vit or health um this one is going to be specializing in attack so more attack stat as you can see vit is at 30 so prior priority is going to be on health um this one is attack so 29 here is going to prioritize more on attack stat additions we will have to increase this so this one is mastery mastery has a lot of aspects that it could add to it's it's gonna be complicated if i explain this now i'd probably explain this during the game when it launches i'll have a dedicated nexus guide for you guys so that you won't you know you won't you know won't um get lost in all of the level ups of this game okay so we have here your terminal you have a terminal by the way in which you have to guard if the terminal is actually um, depletes its hp or its life you're gonna lose the game automatically so it's technically kind of a real-time strategy game with a little twist of um, tower defense so if you know what i mean we'll go to the gameplay in a bit so again this is terminal stat let's add more defense and this one is shared by your um by it's mostly your team members okay there's a guild actually that can share you traces so once you are there once you've selected your traces each trace aside from the stat that they're going to give your leader each each is going to have their own additional skill so take note because again there are a lot of skills here you have to basically your leader is going to be sura it, it, your leader is very customizable that's it so customize the skills customize the stats it's going to be fun because as you grow your leader you can customize any of the stats that are available as long as you have traces you can customize the skills also as long as you have a lot more traces okay so once you start this 
you'll be transported to the Nexus itself. Okay? So, to start with, there are buffs already. Then, here is what the Nexus looks like. I won't go through the whole Nexus thing. But again, you'll have... It's more of a, a mini quest or a mini game within the game for you to get stats, for you to get skills, for you to get higher ranking in your Nexus engraving. So, let us actually go out and abandon this we will go to the gacha when we are done loading with this one okay so again before we go to the gacha the nexus i'll have a dedicated you know a video for the nexus alone to make it easier for you guys to how efficiently you can go through the nexus and get more skills and how to prioritize stats and skills Okay, so this is your gacha, your spirit drive. I already have, you have two gachas, by the way. You have memory traces. You have daily free for your memory traces, which is nice. Um, for your main banners, for your gacha, for your Echomancer and memory trace, there is a selector once you reach 300. But before this... Um, the first 30 you get a selector as well, especially for the Echo Manager. So right now I am at 252. I already got my first selector at 30 summons. Next one is at 300. Let's do 20 summons here. So Laurel, by the way, is one of the best in terms of um, being a vanguard. Um, very, very sturdy. She specializes in corrosion. Uh, I don't want to talk about the elements right now. We're going to be talking about it once the game launches. So let's skip this. So right now, you have five stars here all over. Next up is going to be another 20 summon. So this one is five stars as well. Okay, so that is how your summons look like. Okay, so with that said, let us go through a little bit of a battle here. Let's go through the worlds here. These are the stages. These are story stages, by the way. So, let's do Elite. Uh, once you check out the stage, then you get here the rewards. Okay, so this is your team. Basically, you assign a leader in the middle so better engraving available right now let us choose laurel okay they will swap positions so the laurel will basically give your team these buffs okay so right now i have a tactician i have a ranger and i have a skirmisher okay so let us try to tinker with this i'd like to have oh no no it's not a skirmisher it's frida she's a healer in a buffer she's very good we have chris and we have begonia and bella another i want to get another healer in here so let's have song here and selecting aiding echomancer okay so the aiding echomancer is part of your guild so let <laughs> Us actually put one there so this one is coming from um the aiding parties that assign units in that pool so you're only going to be building more or less a team of seven sometimes there are no aiding parties so that is why you only have to make a team of seven okay let's start this battle off and give you guys a feel of how this game is going to be played Okay, so we have here Okay, so this is how it starts. So these are your buffs here. These buffs here are because of um, The skills that you got through the Nexus. So for this one the third one to be triggered I need two or more lightning Echomancer. So right now I only have one So let us do another one. Let us remove then let's add here. You have to drag, basically. You can build your first four teams and deploy. The rest of 
the units that you have, you're going to use them later if you swap units real time. Okay, so right now, the last buff is activated, so all three can actually do their thing. So let's start this off. So this is going to be one of two stages. So basically one area, then we're moving to the next area. Depth is 8, engraving is 824, and let us start this rolling. Okay, so you can play this game in auto, by the way, but I would advise that you play this game partially on auto because sometimes you do need to transfer units uh, off and into the field. Like, for example, if you pause this, you have your backups here. So you can swap units in and out uh, because you're going to need them eventually if you want to tinker with your team to uh, varying degrees. Okay, so you can swap. That is done manually. You cannot do it auto. So let's continue this. Also, guys, there here is your terminal. This one in the middle here. So your terminal gives you a lot of benefits. If your HP goes below 50%, it gives you a shield. It also gives you the opportunity to cast some skills that it has. So support is going to be drones helping you. Anti-frequency jammer is going to be for knockdown of this these are fly units this one is my favorite number three because it gives boost attack boost and attack speed and basic dr by three to five percent this is my favorite so basically one and two are my favorites the rest are depending upon again situational this one is a barrier and this one is insta charge so let's do one here careful because um, let's say if you summon drones on the first, uh, what do you call this? The first area. The drones will not move with you to the second area. So I usually um, do the drones or summon the drones on the second area if there's a second area. So automatically they move because I'm an auto. So when you arrive at the second area, you can actually do can actually select your team again depending on what you see then if you don't have any change you can just uh, apply it there so right now i'm just waiting for the cooldown on your lower left corner you can actually summon some drones here to aid you in battle depending upon you um, but your terminal only um does two skills so you can't do a lot okay so be mindful on when to cast how to cast and what is your limit basically so on your right side these are your ultimates the ultimates by the way can be cast out in auto you can actually do manual as well so you can do them manually you can also do them manually here let's say for example I'm um, gonna switch her to defense. You can actually use it while it's gonna be an auto. So, again, a mix of auto play and manual play is actually the best for this game. So, as you can see, um, enemies are popping out in every direction. You have to protect the terminal. So, that is it. That's victory for you. Okay. So, with that said, guys. I do hope you guys are very interested in this game. Me personally, I'm very interested in the gameplay alone. Um, I think the the gifts, uh, not the gifts, the rewards are actually very generous for this game. Um, and I find the concept very interesting with the traces and it's a different way of leveling up your characters rather than the usual ones we're in you level them up through the characters alone but this one you're going to be leveling the up to the nexus through your leader and that is it so hopefully if you have questions shoot me a comment in the comment section because we can discuss but for me guys i guarantee you i'll be playing this during launch so again if you want to follow my channel please do subscribe and like this video because you will get more ash echoes from me Aside from that, I do have a couple of games coming into this channel. So watch out for future content as well for this channel. So 
Again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.